I think that's it. Yeah, it's got the red. Yeah. I guess you checked on Junior's shirt. Sure. No problem. I think it'd be beautiful.
I didn't pay much attention to it back then, Brother Fred. But it was there. But it, it settled right down in my heart. And now, Sister Sylvia, I think back on them memories and how precious they are. And I believe the ones that have already went on to be with the Lord, I believe they're at rest. I believe they're around the altar of God. They're in paradise this morning. And I believe the souls of men are rejoicing this morning in their rest. And I'm glad, Brother Johnny, one of these days we're going to be reunited with the ones that have already went on before, Brother Tommy. And I don't believe it'll be long for very many of us. And I'm just glad to be one in the number Amen. this morning. Amen. And I'm thankful for what God has done for me. Yes, sir. And I hope, as I said, that each one has come here praying that the Lord would bless this little service, that Amen. He would pour out his spirit upon us and that we receive a blessing that we wouldn't be able to contain here this morning. I, I was sitting here thinking and I was looking at each one and some I don't see very often Brother Josh but there's one thing that bonds us together yeah. and it's the Lord Jesus Here's Christ right. Brother Mike. Love. It's love. the love of Christ that has been shed abroad in our hearts Amen. that causes us to come out and to be up and about our Father's business. And, to, and there's a desire for the child of God to be able to meet in the house with our brothers and sisters and to be able to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And it's just like the singing. Now the song sounds good when one or two sing. But when the multitude begins to sing, brethren, there's a different sound to it. And it's the same way with the preaching. When the Spirit hey, begins to bless sir. His ministers, honey, Paul said it. He said, my countenance was changed, Brother Mike. Honey, that when the inward man receives a blessing, it'll come to the outside, brothers, and it'll be shown unto the world. So this morning, we're not here to lift up our names, but we're here to lift up the hey, name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is worthy to be praised. And if you're lost, run, and undone this morning, and I say this with love, you need Him worse than you need your next prayer, brother. It's all about this, this world that we're in, each generation. Honey, there is a time and a space for each one to repent, brother Fred, and to be born again. Everyone will have an opportunity Brother Johnny, to be born again. Is there not a spirit that is in each man that reveals the, that, that God is and that He is a rewarder yeah. of those that do diligently seek Him? Absolutely. Honey, listen. The things of this world <laughs> is temporal. They're soon going to pass away. But honey, He said to set your eyes on things that are eternal upon His precious Son this yeah. morning. That has been, everly been. You know, Brother Donnie, I don't understand a lot. But I know one thing. I know that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. So that whosoever would believe upon Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And He came here, born of a virgin. I don't understand that, Brother Donnie. And I'm not going to tarry for very long. There's many things that I don't understand. But I believe it, Sister Wanda. I believe it. I believe it by that measure of faith that God gave me, brother. And He has given every man, Brother Johnny, the measure of faith to believe upon the only begotten Son of the Father. And He came, born of a virgin, grew up, and He preached His own everlasting gospel. And you know, I'll say this. I went down to the graveyard yesterday and... Oh, how we all, we dread death. We do, the natural man. But Jesus came knowing that He would have to die. That was the purpose for Him to come. To do His Father's will. We'll do everything in the world. To, we'll go to the doctors. We'll, do, we'll buy all these medications and to try to sustain our lives, Brother Blake. But Jesus, He came for that purpose. He came to die. And what did He come to die for? He came to die for your sins Me. and for my sins. Yes. If it had just been one, Brother Fred, 
He loved us so that He would have paid the price for just one. But He said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And He said, How shall how will you call on one in whom you've not believed, Brother Donnie? How can you call on one in whom you've not believed? And how can you call upon one in whom you've never heard of? But He called ministers to preach the everlasting gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And listen, when this word goes out in power, honey, it'll prick your heart. It will reveal by the Spirit what you are by nature and what you must be by grace. And if there'll be a godly sorrow, that will set up, Brother Donnie. And if you'll follow that Spirit, honey, the godly sorrow will lead you, Brother Tommy, right down to the feet of Jesus. And then you can repent and be born again. That's what God requires and He commands it. He said, least you repent. He said, you'll all likewise perish. Honey, but listen, it's the hardest thing for the natural man to do is to repent, to deny ourselves. But honey, I believe that when a, when a man gets in trouble over his sins, he'll be willing to become obedient to God. And he'll repent. And then you'll be born again, honey. And listen, that's the most... Pre I've had many precious moments in this world, Brother John. Yeah. I've seen my children born and many other things that have happened to me. The Lord has blessed me. But the most precious thing that ever happened to me that was down here on March the 9th, 1995 in South Ashland. The Lord come unto me and He, he spoke to me in a way He never spoke to me before, Brother Fred. And there was a great fear come upon me, Brother Donnie. And I fell down on my knees and I repented. And no, I didn't have to wait six months to get the Holy Spirit. I didn't have to talk in tongues as many require. They say you have to speak in tongues. How are you going to speak in tongues if you don't even have the Holy Spirit? But the very moment I give Him my whole heart, He saved my soul and nobody had to tell me anything. I knew exactly what God had done for me. And I raised up and I thought, I remember thinking to myself, well, I could have done this a long time ago. But you see, we try to work it out on our own. But what you must do, you must submit to the will of God and repent of your sins and He'll make you a new creature in His Son, Jesus Christ. And He's why we're here this morning. Amen. Well, we'll go ahead and continue. We we want to take prayer requests at this time. We know there's so many sick and needy. Uh, I want to mention one name. I got a call last night about 8 o'clock. And uh, it was my neighbor. And his uh, daughter-in-law called me and said, My father is out in the truck. He's, he's not responsive. We don't know what's going on. Would you go out there and check on him? So I went out there. He's 80 years old, Brother Donna. And he had OD on drugs at 80 years old. And they had to come and do the Narcon on him and all that. And they did revive him. But uh, he's been in prison. He's just, he just, a, he just an honorary old man is what he is. But he needs God. And about a month ago, about a month ago, he came to me asking, and I think I requested it here at the church, for his name to be mentioned in prayer. Uh, Vernon Rigsby is his name. So lift him up in prayer. He, he sure needs the Lord today. He's still in the hospital, but remember him. But if anybody else has any prayer requests, we can let it be. Remember, my sister's got cancer and has surgery the 31st of this month. Amen. God bless you. Her name's Betty. I hate that. Thank you, sister. Remember, brother, Pastor, yeah. They said he had a mini stroke. Really? And he's blind, blind, blind. So, I bless some people ask for prayer too, and I can't hardly keep up with them all. Mary Young, uh, J.D. Howard, uh, Angie Fields, and then my son, Zayda. Remember each one of those. I called to check on Sister Shelby on the way out. They said she's doing better. Yeah. 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 Let's remember them. We've got so many, so many that are sick. Uh, remember me. I'm going to yes. go ahead and I've got a hand knee surgery. Let's 
your home. Amen. We'll be praying to you, Brother Juan. Yes. Thank to everyone that prayed for me and kids while we were gone. I'm glad you glad had a good time. It's good to get away. It was. Brother Jim. Yes, I'm asking God to bless those that are have not found their way to him yet, specifically my children and mm -hmm. uh, others in the family and those close and around me and to use me in any way that he might to help that. Amen. Bless you, Brother Jim. It's good to see Brother Jim and Sister Wanda with us. They've been having several medical issues, but the Lord... He is able to heal this morning. Yes, absolutely. He is the great physician, and I believe if we'll put all of our faith in him, that there's nothing that he won't do for us, Brother Tommy, if it's his will. But, Brother Kate, my neighbor messaged me yesterday. She doesn't attend church that I know of, but she wanted me to pray for her daughter and I told her I would request prayer here at church. She's in her thirties and has been diagnosed with cancer. Oh my. And she lives in uh, Ohio near Columbus. And the mother is so <coughs> concerned and so hurt. It's uh, sure. and I thank the church for all the prayers for this <coughs> time. We're here today. Amen. Very thankful. I'm doing much better. I'm not waiting. Yes. Thank the Lord. Yes. Amen. Appreciate your prayers. Yeah, Lord. It's a wonderful thing to have uh, your brothers and sisters are praying for you. You remember, remember my uncle, Addy Raleigh. He's been getting sick for a while, but they finally diagnosed him. He's got a cancer around his heart. It's actually attached to his heart. Oh, my. He's, it, it, the problem, it does not look good at all. And the biggest thing right now, he's praying for salvation. He's praying to get Amen. right with God. I mean, he's put it off, good good man, put it off too long. But I just hope he, he at least he makes it and God hears his cross. Amen. Because I just want the church to remember him and all of our family members that are in this situation. I mean, that's what they need most of all. Amen. Amen. Bless your heart. Good to see you and your family here this morning. Amen. That's, that's the most important prayer request is for the laws, the unsaved. Uh, anyone else? Brother Ross. Yes, uh, <coughs> Sister Brenda Ruggles, she, she sort of had some issues this morning, reading she's mm -hmm. not here. And remember Brother Elwood and Sister Joan Cotton, she, she's under the weather today. <coughs> amen. I was wondering. Just bless us all today. Yes, you say? amen. We all... I'm sure we all have unspoken requests and that. Yeah. And I'll, I'll mention this, and I forgot to uh, remember Brother Junior. He's called <coughs> down to Little Zion. Uh, I guess Brother Brother Huff and Brother Junior probably pass on the way. We probably did. Yeah. But uh, remember Brother Junior and them that they'll have a good service. And then Brother Marty was called a Little Dove. So let's pray for them that they'll have a wonderful service. And uh, you know, it's it's a wonder to me how the Lord can bless here. And then bless halfway around the world too. He's everywhere. Yeah, the same time. It's at the same time. But uh, but anyone else now? We don't want to tell you. We want to give these preachers rather than a penny time. Yes, I'm sorry. My regular is my sister and daughter. Yes, yes. gifts as they have, it takes the Lord yeah. to bring that out. Is that right? Yeah. Brother? right. Come on. And, uh, also remember uh, someone that Terry grew up with, her husband, they think has, has a multi-myeloma that she had. Oh. And, you know, uh, they don't know for sure, but, you know, the Lord can take care of it. Yes, amen. Amen. 
All right. Uh, if there's no other prayer request, Brother Fred, get you a song, and then we'll go to the Lord in prayer, and then we'll have praise again. <clears throat> Page 101. There's a crimson river flowing down the cross where Jesus died. It's flowing down the mountain through the valleys deep and wide. It's a fall.
would be your will now. Would you bless your ministers, oh God, wherever that they're gathered in your name this morning, oh God. Would you bless Brother Junior this morning, oh God. And Father, if it would be your will, would you remember Brother Marty this morning, oh God. And God, we're thankful this morning, oh God, that you sent your son to Calvary, oh God. And do what no one else could do, Heavenly Master. Oh, Father, now, when these brothers come this morning, oh God, would you just fill their mouth, Heavenly Master? And God, it seems that we're always asking of you, oh God. But, oh, Father, I want to thank you, oh God, for what you've done for me, Heavenly Master. And, oh, God, if it would be your will now, would you remember this country, oh, God? Oh, Father, remember our government chair, oh, God. Would you turn them around, Heavenly Father? It seems, oh, God, that they're saying everything that's good is bad and everything that's bad is good, oh, God. And, God, I want to ask you again to bless these ministers here, oh, God. Bless 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 Brother Josh here, oh God. Bless Amen. Brother Blake. Bless Brother Mike and Dwayne, oh God, as they come, Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. And God, if it would be your will, would you bless this little church here and bless its members, oh God. And Father, I hope that I've asked this in a way that would be pleasing us to your Son, Jesus. And amen. Amen. Brother Blake, I want you to come and introduce us. Brother Blake came to, from the Rock Fork Church. Amen, Martin. Bless him, Lord. Thankful he's here. Yes. Sing us a pretty song. Yes, amen. I know you sang one every once in a while. You don't think so, Lord. Yeah. 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 Y
And I'm he saying, said a strong angel laid his hand uh, upon him and said, Wait not, wait John, on. for there is one that has prevailed. Yes, sir. Out of the line of the tribe of Judah, there is one that has prevailed to open the book and loosen the seals there. Yes, sir. That was our Savior. Yes, sir. That was our Savior. He, he is the Savior of the world, and He is a special Savior to the believers. Amen. Amen. So, if, if I say nothing else today, I want to tell men and women the truth. Yeah. Right. I feel that too many people are being drawn into the church houses with some false thought. That's the truth, man. Jesus commanded us to preach the Word. Amen. Not something that would tickle the ear. Amen. So, what it takes to go to heaven, you must believe upon the name of Jesus Christ. And then, once you believe, you must repent on the of your sins. Then, God will warn your soul again. And Nicodemus, kind of, he was thinking with the natural mind there. He said... Lord, how can I be an old man and enter back in twice to my mother's womb? Jesus said, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So, we, you don't need to be born again on the outside. You need to be born on the inside. Then when, once you're born again, then you'll become a new creature in Christ. Old things will pass away, and behold all things that become new. And Jesus told him once, he said, if the inside, if the inward man is cleaned up, then the outward will appear clean also. So, I want to tell you today, there's many people that are wearing themselves out trying to clean up this old outward man. You can, you can try and try to clean yourself up. You'll quit your cussing, you'll quit your drinking. You'll quit doing drugs, but then wait till after a while that you'll be less than again. Yeah. That Satan is more powerful than what we are. Oh yeah. But the Bible yeah, says, is "Greater yeah, that is in you than he that is in the world." So I'll leave you with this, people. There are some men that say, "I've done too much. I've sinned away the day of grace." But Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all oh, men. Yes. So everyone has the opportunity to go to heaven. Yeah. Time and chance has happened to them all. Yes, but if they go to hell, it will be their own fault. You're going to have to stand on your own. He said, time and chance has happened to them all. So you'll be left without excuse. So... I'm going to sit down with this. Choose, choose Jesus and live or reject Him and die, die, and never die in a lake of fire. So, I love you, but God loves you more. Well done. 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 Preach for us. I don't be in no hurry, crap. Let's give these ministers plenty of time. We, we don't need to put a timetable yeah. on how long we're at church. That's right. Paul preached all night one night. Yeah. He sure did. So just pray for these ministers. Brother, no, come on, Brother Boyne. He's a member of the uh, Reynolds Fork in the yeah. church. Yes. I'll send a few messages. Thank you, Dad. I'll, I'll say good morning, Dolly. Good morning, brother. The good thing about it is I love each and every one of you. you know, that's one thing you can't stop until the Lord give that to you. Yeah, amen. You know, uh, I don't, I may not like your ways, but I love your soul. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's good being here this morning. I thank the Lord for it. Yeah. You know, and if you come here with a praying heart, and yeah. want to hear from heaven, yeah. there'll be someone who will help you out. Yes, sir. If you come up, but if you come here just to be seen and to put in a good day, you're going to leave here with nothing. Yep. Amen. That's the way it works. Uh, but if you come with a praying heart, you just keep right on praying. The Lord will answer your prayer. Yeah. He'll be right there with you. You know, uh, a lot of people think 
that you got me down on your hands and knees, right on, up in the pew pit and stuff. A praying is not a way to pray. But uh, you, when you pray, you pray right here in your heart. You, you don't have to put on a show to be a praying. If you're serious praying, you can be sitting right in your seat and nobody know nothing about it. It's just you and God. You know? Amen. And that's who you got to work it out with. It's you and God. Yes, you know, uh, a lot of people say, well, how do I know if I'm right or not? If you have to ask, then you're not right. You need to keep praying a little longer. You know? Know, so, right. you know, uh, a lot of people, they worry about pride. They want to hold on to their pride. You know, they, they worry about what people's going to say about them and what this is going to say and that. And you need to not worry about it because uh, we're no better than Jesus and they talked about him when he's here on earth. Amen. They spurred him and everything. And so we're no better. They're going to talk about you no matter what you do. We can live, us Christians up here, we can live the very best we know how and worship the Lord the best we know. And there's still going to be somebody to talk about us and try to tie us down. So you know what? Let them talk all they want to about you. Just not worry about it. And don't hold on to nothing in this world. A lot of people want to hold on to something other. You know, don't hold on to nothing in this world and lose your soul and go to the lake of fire and burn forever and ever. Because you know what? There's nothing in this world worth holding on to because it ain't yours no ways. It's all going to burn up one day. Amen. So you know, don't hold on to nothing. Uh, you know, uh, just keep on praying and turn it all over to him. And realize you've got nothing to bargain with. A lot of people want to bargain. You've got nothing to bargain with. It's all his anyways. Uh, only thing you can do is your soul is turn it over to him. Uh, you know, he ain't going to twist your hair and pull your arm to serve you. He gave you the free choice to do that. That's up to you. And you know, it, it'll be a shame to sit right there in your seat and lose your soul and go to the hell where you're going to burn forevermore. You want to die and can't die. You're going to burn and burn. There ain't going to be no end to it. But just think, if you turn your life over and go to heaven, it's going to be joy and joy. You know, we got a little peace here on earth and we feel good here on earth. But it's going to be a lot better when we go to heaven. Amen. That's what I can't wait for. You know, when I get a little taste of heaven here on earth, I want more of it. Yeah. And so, you know what? I believe in the bottom of my heart that heaven's my home when I leave this world and it's all going to be good. That's what I'm looking for. You know, if I didn't believe that heaven was my home when I left here, I'd be afraid with everything yes, in me to turn it over. You know, so you just keep on a praying. And like I said, if you pray with you get serious about it, he'll be right there with you. He'll, he'll pick you up. So don't hold on to nothing here. Worth to, ain't nothing <laughs> worth holding on to. And you know what? Uh, that's all I can say is get try to get people to pray and turn it over. And I don't know. Uh, I, I try to talk about the Lord wherever I go. I, mm -hmm. It makes me feel good. Yeah. You know, I can be out in the world, out here at Walmart or somewhere. And I mean a brother or sister, it just picked me right up. Yeah, yeah. That's the real thing about it, is we got we pick each other up when we get around each other. Right. And you know what? That's what I'm saying, the love the Lord will give you. You, you have no enemies or nothing. It'd be good. But I'm gonna get out of the way and you know what, like I said, just keep on with praying and he'll be right there with you. He, he will answer your prayer and be right there. You know, a lot of people worried about any time we're coming. You know, they say it's all right. The Baptists want to holler at any time to come, any time to come. Well, guess what? When you die, that's the end of your time. Yeah, that's right. what that's you, any time you need to worry right. about is your end of time. And we got no promise to see tomorrow. You can die right now in your seat. Because, yep. you, you know, you can die between the little finger. And, and, you know, you need to be ready at all times. Yes, sir, that's what I'm saying. Don't hold on to tomorrow because tomorrow may not come your way. You need to be ready right now. Turn it all over to him right now with what time you can pray. You turn it over to him. When he goes working with you, that's when you need to get praying. Yes, you pray with everything in you. Because he's been working with you. He may not come back again. He may give up on you. So you don't give up on him. When he comes to work with you, you start working. And like I said, don't worry about nothing else. I'm going to get out of the way. But it's good serving the Lord. I ain't found nothing wrong with serving the Lord. It's all been good. You know what? A lot of people say, well, if I turn my life over, I can't do this and I can't do that. Well, I'll tell you what, I do what I want to. So my wants are a lot different from what the world I have I ain't got no desire to be out there in no bar or out here turning the Lord's name down, cussing in a man. I got no desire of that no more. That's right. I, all I got the desire of is serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're Amen. going to heaven when I leave this world. And I, like I said, it's going to be good when we get up there. And I can't wait to get there. I, 
I'm ready to go anytime he calls me, you know. And by nature, you don't want to leave. By nature, we all want to hold on a lot. But in the Spirit of the Lord, we're ready to go at any time. You know, a lot of people, don't, you know, we don't want to leave our family and stuff behind. But that's all right. I hate to see any of my family go to hell. But you know what? They got to work it out on their own. I can't do nothing about it. I've just kind of got them the best way I know how and just pray for them. That's all I can do. You know, that's the good thing about it. You may not want me to pray for you, but I can pray for you anyway because the Lord give it to me. You know, so I want to get out of the way and you all just keep on praying with you everything. Like I said, realize you ain't got nothing to bargain with. It ain't nothing worth this world to hold on to. So you just turn it all over to him and I'm going to get out of the way. It's good being here this morning. I tell you what, I've got my trip paid for being here this morning. Anytime the Lord blesses me to get to go to church, I, I, I thank Him for everything. You know, that's the thing about it. Anytime something good to happen to you, the Lord gives you, you ought to be thankful for it. Just think this morning you woke up. Did you thank the Lord for it? It was Him that woke you up. And so you need to be thankful for it. You know, like I said, you big fancy cars and your home. You need to thank the Lord for it. Yeah, he gave you the mind and strength to get it. Right. So you know you didn't get it on your own. You didn't get nothing on your own. You need to thank the Lord for yeah, everything he does for you. When you wake up, start thanking him. I'm going to get out of the way. Yeah, it's it's been good. Yeah. I don't know about the rest of you, but it's sure been good to be here. Yes, you know, I'm going to get out of the way. God bless you, brother. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. Amen. Brother Michael, come take your time. Amen. Brother Michael Smallwood, we're going to have his wife Bose here. He's moderator of the Little Bethany Church. Take your time now. Just mind the Lord. I see you, brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. And went home and satisfied. Amen. Hey, from a crib.
Seek out the old path when you find it. Yeah. <coughs> yes. I know out here in the world things have really changed. It's changed. <coughs> Satan has run wild sure throughout the land. But I know one thing today that's never changed. Yes, Today, it in here, it says you must first believe that I am safe. So those that do it, you Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Then you got to be called from the Father. Say, come. Yes. And then, brother. <laughs> come the time in our life and the Father starts drawing us that we have to say, Lord, here I am. Amen. Have mercy yes. upon this yes. sin. Yes. And then when the Lord comes and he invites you to be able to pray, be it. Yeah. Lord, have mercy upon me a little bit. Yes. A sinner in your sight. Yes. Oh, and then we start praying and we beg and we plead our case with the Lord, but right here's the thing that yes. He's looking for. Right? He's looking for you to turn your whole heart, soul, mind, and strength over to Him. And when you do that, Brother Johnny, uh, uh, you repent me uh, uh, of the sin that you committed. Yeah. Right? Uh, the one sin that's going to send you down to that lake of fire. Right? It's not believing uh, upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and whatever else you do out right here in the world, uh, it's just a, uh, it's just a fruit of sin, brother. I, I want to tell you this today. Uh, and when the Lord comes, uh, and Brother Johnny, uh, I didn't have to ask nobody uh, uh, who's this the man uh, that's called me uh, and who uh, uh, can I pierce it uh, I didn't want to go keep going the way that I do uh, I want to do something that new uh, uh, brother Johnny uh, I was weak uh, as a young man uh, but I want to tell people today uh, how they've won uh, that's most greater uh, than them I was in the inside uh, brother Spin. I, I opened up my heart's door when I heard him come in. I, he cast it out. I, he gathered up I, everything that Satan had. I, and he cast it out. I, and it went uh, far from the east uh, to the west, brother. I, I mean, uh, he kicked him out, brother Johnny. Uh, uh, he closed the door behind him uh, and he sealed it. Uh, and he was all those Till day, I don't want to I don't want I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I don't want I don't want I don't I don't want 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 I 
back down to me. I had a little law. I had his creation. I had no better from the least to the greatest. My brother had the least of us all in a newborn baby. Man, I had the greatest of all in my father. I went to the heaven. You may not breathe in it, brother. But that's the only way I can find it. Now, when God comes in, you'll know all about it because I heard a few words that I used to use. I don't use them no more. I have songs that I used to sing. We don't sing them no more. And the places I used to go, I don't go there no more. What I done, brother, I repeated and then I see him and it's gone. Yeah, I, 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 I was born again, brother, tell me. I was a little that you can't get away from, brother. And no matter what men do, you always say, Lord, I have mercy upon them. I have mercy on God. And every day, I'm really not happy to do that in my lifetime. I'm already, I have to go all somewhere. And Lord, would you have mercy? And brothers, I, I want to tell you something right now. I, if you want to know something, I, I take it to God, brothers. I, I don't put your faith upon man. I, I'm going to tell you what you're going to find. And you'll find that he ain't perfect, brothers. And we make mistakes. Uh, but he said to God that he's perfect. And brothers, the most hardest thing uh, that we can do uh, is try to be perfect. Uh, and we're going to steal. Uh, I make our mistakes, brother John. I just watch us long enough. Hey, you'll find, brother John, that we're going to make mistakes. But what? Here's the good part. Every night before I lay down, brother John, I can say, Lord, have mercy upon me. And Lord, keep me better more. And give me something better to say more. Lord, I'm you. He's my father. I'm his son, brother And I'm telling you right now, if you do something against the Father, brother, uh, uh, what's going to happen? Uh, you're going to get in trouble. Uh, and he said, uh, uh, I, I chastise the Lord. That I love, brother. Uh, and I chastise you not, know, you bastards. Uh, and my right. son, uh, my brother's at the book. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to let him read it. I'm going to be chastised, yes, brother. Uh, and have a father. Uh, That's great. And he's uh, And be damned. Uh, and brother, I'm telling you, right? Uh, uh, you, they can pray uh, all they want to, uh, but if they don't get considered uh, uh, right down in their heart, uh, uh, they're going to die and go down this sacred heart. Uh, uh, right. Brother John, they need to turn uh, uh, back the same way they come. Uh, uh, if it takes God to be able to turn them. Yeah, yes, yeah, he turns them, they'll not yeah, go back, yeah, brother. Uh, 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 they'll be turned. Uh, 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 but I want to tell you this today. Uh, Every man, uh, every woman, yeah. her like them said, uh, uh, they time an opportunity has come to all men. Uh, uh, but if they see the way, uh, the day of their grace, brother, uh, uh, there's no repentance for you. Uh, uh, he'll turn them over to a hardness of heart uh, and a wretched body mind. Uh, to believe a lie and be damned, brother Tony. What is that lie they believe? Uh, uh, there's no hereafter. Uh, uh, I got news for them, brother. Uh, they are here. Right, right. Either you're going to heaven, brother, or you're going to that lake before. Right. And brother, I'm telling men and women today, now let me tell you something. If you hear this on the news, you'll get disturbed, you like it has me. They've done a study, brother, out here in the world. One out of five people don't even believe that they're God. Let me tell you something. I right carry you read this, uh, you. and you'll find out where everything comes from. Uh, he didn't build this world uh, upon his hands, brother. He spoke and he come to his uh, uh, Brother, uh, he went back, didn't he? Uh, he said, if I go away, I'll repair a place. Uh, and if I go away, I'll come again. Uh, uh, he did go away, uh, and he did a place. Uh, uh, where is that place? Right there inside of me and hard. Uh, Brothers, you can't build that uh, with hands, brothers. Uh, you can't buy that with 
God my silver. Uh, you must be born uh, into this family. Uh, and I'm telling you today, uh, uh, this family, uh, we can call friends, brothers. We can call brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you, we'll come out down in the world. Uh, I had a bunch of buddies. Uh, uh, they always wanted to go out partying. Uh, they wanted to go out everywhere. Yeah, they wanted yeah, yeah. to be in. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, here's the good thing. Uh, uh, when God saved me, uh, uh, my buddies went away. Uh, That's right. uh, my friends, uh, uh, they come. Uh, yeah. uh, they wrap their arms around me. Uh, uh, they say, I love you now. Uh, yeah. uh, my buddies, they never did tell me they love me. Uh, uh, but I want to tell you, uh, I love you. Yeah. Today, I love every man, every woman that's ever been created. Yeah. Why? Because God born us with that love, brother. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's been uh, 33 years ago uh, that I started my way. Uh, and brother said, I ain't found no hurry yet. Uh, and I wanted to turn back and go back the way that I was. Uh, I've only found one thing, brother. Uh, I want to go. I want to serve the Lord, brother. Uh, yeah. No matter where I'm at, uh, if I was in D.C. today, uh, and the Lord blessed me, uh, they'd probably take me to jail, but that's all right. I to them little yeah. in there because uh, he went, uh, and he opened the uh, prison doors for two yeah. years. Uh, you are in prison. Uh, you are. Uh, you are. Uh, 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 because, and I'm telling you, uh, uh, when you get uh, down to the point, uh, uh, the Lord opened the door for you. Uh, he sure made a road escape for you uh, and sir. me, brother. Uh, I'm going to tell you today, uh, I don't need to take my time. I'm telling you, 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 I'm telling you,
choice. Uh -huh. Because he loved me. <laughs> sir, he loved me. It all comes back to love. I'm yeah. telling you, read the scriptures, you'll find the greatest word in there is love, Brother John. Why it says, God so loved the world yeah. that he sent his only begotten Son <laughs> yes, sir. to hang upon the cross uh, to open up uh, the fountain of living water. Yeah. Uh, that word to you. Uh, if you taste of this living water, you'll never thirst again, yeah. Brother John. Yeah. I'll never thirst for that water oh, no. uh, because we get it daily. Don't be yeah.
to forgive me. I have to take my uh, feet out of the mire and clay. I, I set it up on a, a foundation. I, what is that foundation? Real foundation. Real foundation. Real foundation. <clears throat> I'm sure uh, glad to be here. It's, this church, uh, <coughs> Brother Lon, this church has always got a, a place in my heart, a special place. Amen. We're thankful. Uh, sure, I sure miss the brethren that's gone on. Yeah. I was thinking about uh, every brother that would get up or every time that I got up that I can remember Brother Terry always asking the Lord to bless his brother. And, yeah. They was a great comfort in that. You, you felt secure because of that. I know that's the way he done that. And I, I missed that sound here this morning. I think this might have been the first time I've been back. But 
<clears throat> but if the Lord will, I will. If he don't, uh, I know where my seat's at. We'll go from there. Way down in Egypt land, a fearful time had come for one little Hebrew boy who was his father's yeah. firstborn son. With the angel of death passing low, it was hard to fall asleep, but one little lamb stood in his mind as he lay there counting sheep. <clears throat> he wondered why the little lamb had to die and why the blood was on the door <coughs> to the wind and the rain remain but he wanted to be sure so he called out to his earthly father with a trembling voice so scared crying father will you look and see if the blood That the blood is still there. That's a thank you, Lord. They are, but my voice probably couldn't handle it. Amen. The blood is still there. I ask for your prayers once again. I, I like I said, I, it's always a. I, a fearful place to stand where we're at, but I I, I do fear. Seems like I'm a little more nervous this morning than, God bless uh, brother. than what I normally am. I was looking at my hand a while ago. I, I stuck my hand out and just see how bad I was shaking, and I was shaking all over. So uh, I hope that the Lord will, will bless me, and I, I hope that He will uh, He'll calm me down enough to. Yeah, He will. Take me out in that green pasture. I've said a lot here lately that uh, God is, uh, don't understand it, but God is, has blessed me at times when I haven't been as obedient or I haven't uh, studied or prayed or <clears throat> like I should, and, and uh, he, he's took me out to that green pasture. And then there's been other times that I felt that uh, the Lord was sure going to set me on fire on Sunday because I had prayed up and Read and studied, and I, I'd come there and stumbled all over myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's so it is so we you. have to be as a, as, right, a, as a preacher. So we have to be uh, willing to know and know and be conscious that no matter what we do, we're going to be a failure. Yes, we, we're not going to be. It's not going to be in us. Amen. But but we must use those or be able to use that which God has given us. And that's through the Spirit of God. If I get up here and preach anything in myself, then we might as well just pack up and go to the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. It won't be very good. It'll be dry as it can be. But if God's Spirit comes yeah. and, and revelates and, and then and He's in the ranks, then it'll be good. We, yes, sir. we don't want to take away from what we've heard already. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Amen. So, well, as I was saying, if the Lord will, I will. I've got some verses here. If the, the Lord will, will bless me, and then I'll, uh, I'll see where he sends me. And, uh, it's in the third chapter of Romans. And this verse here, I'd say it's probably the most second quoted verse that there is, other than John 3.16. Everybody knows to quote that. But it's in the 23rd <laughs> verse. He said, For all have sinned and come short 
of the glory of God. <laughs> Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Mm. Whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation. That's a stand-in. That's one of the big high-dollar words. But that's, there's some words in the Bible that you have to stop, I feel, that you have to stop and pause and think about. Yeah. And that's, that's one of those words that if you read it in the Bible, that that almost makes you tremble right then because you, got, you have to understand what that really means. Yeah. But that's a stand-in. A propitiation through faith in His blood to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance to God. To declare, I say at this time, His righteousness, that He might be just, that's being God, He might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what? Law, by what law? Of works? It's a question. Nay. But by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Yeah. Uh, and brother, <clears throat> I feel this morning almost like uh, uh, as Jesus went out and he saw Peter on that <coughs> ship. And he saw these, he was out fishing. Peter was fishing one day. Yeah, Lord bless and, that, Lord. Uh, and that Jesus Lord. saw him and he told him, he said, won't you cast your net on the other side? Yeah. And he said, he looked at the Lord and he knew enough about Jesus that he called him Master. I think that's pretty, yeah. that mm -hmm. means a lot, you know. Yeah. There is something about us uh, as, as men and women of the human body that we have enough knowledge to know about God whether we are right uh, at all, whether we had nothing. There is not a, when I was little, there was not a time in my life that I ever thought that Jesus Christ was not a real person. Amen. But that did not save me. That did not make me a, a Christian because I, I did I believed with some kind of story or some kind of decision of my own. But Jesus was out there that day talking to Peter, and he told him to cast himself, uh, cast his net on the other side. And Peter looked at him. He said, "Master, we, nevertheless, we've been out here all night. Yeah. But because you said oh, yeah. we will, we'll go ahead and we'll cast it. And I feel as the preachers that we feel we've been out all night." And we've not caught anything many times. Yeah. But when God tells us to preach or to move, and when God is in the arrangement, things are different. And as Peter began uh, to throw that net out there, uh, uh, that all these fish began to gather up into that net. And uh, he had to even call the other ships to come in yeah. uh, because they were afraid that it would sink the ship. And when uh, uh, Peter came back to the shore there, he looked and he threw himself down. said he got down on his knees. And he said, uh, uh, depart from me, God, uh, uh, Jesus, Lord. Uh, he said, for I am a sinful man. And I feel that way as I approach this stand Amen. many times. I, I don't feel worthy. I don't feel, uh, but I know that through and by what he says, uh, that I am commanded to be instant in season and out of season to preach the word. Yes. You see, the greatest problem we have today is not that, uh, uh, that God is evil. It's not that that our sins are something, but it is that God is good. Yeah. That He is just. The greatest problem that men and women have today. So what are you talking about? How could that be a good thing? So you take a set, take it just a minute at a time and I'll talk here and I'll, I'll, I'll just see how it goes. But uh, uh, let's just see for a minute. If you go home today... And God forbid that you find somebody that's a, a standing over one of your family members and they're, they're taking the very life from them. And, and by the grace of God, you're able to subdue them. And uh, you call somebody, call a police officer in and he comes and gets this man. And then you, you go to court however long we know it all takes for a long time. And then uh, you go to court and then uh, everything goes about and you're waiting for your day of justice and the judge stands up and he says, because he, I am long-suffering, because I am gracious, I'm going to let this guy go. I'm going to let him go for what, sins, for what he has done. You tell me what would you do? Think about it. What would you do uh, to that judge? Or what would you feel like? Amen. Amen. I know what I would do. I would call everybody that I could get a hold of 
every single uh, senator, everybody else, I would say that there is a, a judge that is much more wicked than the people that he presides over because he looks over the sins and the faults, you see. God did not look over just your sins today. God did not uh, uh, just uh, say, well, uh, look to the side because the book of Proverbs Thanks, tells man. us that uh, that a righteous ju a judge, a wicked judge, uh, uh, it does not judge those that are wicked. He lets their go, their yeah. trespasses go. Uh, that's according to the book, you see. And God had to be just. God is full of just, you see. Uh, so yeah. what does all this mean? Uh, this means that uh, I want to tell you that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, uh, and the Word was God, and same was He in the beginning there. Uh, and all things were made for Him and by Him. Uh, there was not one thing made uh, that He did not make it. Uh, uh, you see that I'm glad today uh, uh, that God Himself there was provided. What do you talk about? Uh, for the law came by Moses, uh, uh, but grace and truth came uh, uh, by Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, you see there, this man there, uh, he came unto uh, his own uh, and his own received him not. Uh, uh, but as many as did there, he gave them the power to do something. Uh, he gave them the power to be the sons Come of on. God. Uh, uh, those that were not given by the flesh there, uh, uh, nor by the will of man there, but they were given by God. Uh, uh, you see here, this word I'm talking about there, it was tabernacle there. Uh, it became flesh there and it dwelt among us here. Uh, and we beheld His glory every single day uh, as the only begotten Son of God there. Uh, he was full of grace because He was grace there. Uh, uh, the Bible tells us there was a man there. Uh, he was one cried out in the wilderness there. Uh, uh, he's telling him to make straight the way. Uh, uh, the Bible says there he'd been out there in the wilderness uh, eating locusts and honey. Uh, I preach it all the time there if he come into the church house. Uh, uh, the way he looked there, I'd probably run him out there. He'd probably look like a wild man. Uh, but God's not concerned about the outside of man. It's down in the inside of a man uh, that God's worried about today. Uh, uh, you see, I'm here to tell you that men and women may fault you. Uh, men and women may look at you and say you ain't no count. Uh, but who can lay the charge that God's a lamb for? It's God that justifies a man. Uh, but the Bible says that John there, uh, he began to look out over the crowd of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, and they began to look at him uh, and they began to question him. You see, many people were baptizing in that day. Uh, and they come to see what the ruckus was about there. Uh, and they began to ask him, are you, uh, are you the Messiah? Are you one of these prophets uh, uh, that has come back from the dead? Uh, are you Elijah? And he said, no. Uh, he said, I'm just one crying in the wilderness yeah. there. Uh, uh, making straight the way. Uh, he wasn't out making Christians out of people. Uh, uh, but he was preparing a people there uh, that had already been given by God. Uh, uh, but the Bible tells us he looked out over the Pharisees uh, and the Sadducees. How bold we can be there when the Spirit of God uh, comes upon a man. He said, all oh, ye Pharisees, all oh, ye generations of vipers who have told you to flee from the wrath of God. He said, there's one among ye here uh, whom ye know not there. His fan is in his hand there, he said. He said, he's preferred before me uh, because he was before me. He's greater than I am. He said, he's not, not even worthy down uh, to stoop down and loosen to his sandals there. But you see, and I believe with my faith there I can see uh, uh, this little man coming out of the wheel coming out there on the Judean hillside uh, uh, this man whose footsteps was meek and mild brother uh, uh, they were looking for a great king oh, uh, oh men think they got it figured out uh, uh, God had already had it figured out uh, uh, there was a little itinerary carpenter stepping out of the crowd there uh, and he looked at him there as he watched the little lambs playing uh, on the Judean hillside and he saw this man there and he gave the best message I can tell you this morning. Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world there. This man named Jesus there he prayed in the garden. He said Lord let this cup pass from me. He prayed three times and he said he said not thy will but not my will but thy will. He wasn't praying because he was scared to die. He wasn't praying about what uh, of his death or the pain that he was going to have. Uh, but he was praying there. 
that me and you should have got this same Jesus was led like a lamb done before his shears yeah he opened not his mouth he was beaten and ridiculed without a cause who did that to him brother he was me and you that done it it was our hand on the hammer there it was our hand on the whipping post because I'm here to tell you there he that knew no sin became sin that way we might be of the righteousness of God there of this man named Jesus there no fault was in him he was hung and raised there between the heavens and the earth and he said father forgive them they know not what to do but I want to tell you something the best news I can tell you this morning that whenever before he went back to his father before they shoved that spear into him he said three little words there he didn't give them a laundry list of things that he had to do there he didn't say they got to work themselves out of words or they got to get themselves in some type of shape he said father it is finished there and I can't lay no other foundation this morning except that that has already been laid but that's not the end of it brother on the third and the fourth morning there something happened what happened there brother it wasn't something you go and ask any of these other religions their gods dead they can tell you where they lay but I can point to an old borrowed tomb there why seek you the living among the dead for he's alive and he's alive forevermore and that's what I built my house on when the fiery darts are hurled at me there I can point to a borrowed tomb I can point to Calvary there where bloodshed was there you see sin can never be taken away by bulls and bullocks and by goats there what much more is the precious blood of the Son of God it is able to keep and he's able to finish that which he has started in you but you see I'm like Paul this morning brother there's a reason he said for I am persuaded because something had happened to him you see you were dead and trespassed and sin there and no way to make yourself alive the man down inside of you were just as dead it be no different there if I went to a funeral home and I told a corpse to get up and move but when God himself quickens a man and wakes him up and turns that heart into a fleshly heart and in the glorious light of the gospel shines upon him and you realize what you are you can be like Paul saying for I am persuaded that neither life nor death nor principalities and nor powers nor things present or things to put things to come and neither height nor depth can separate us from the love of God that's through Jesus Christ our Lord you see I've got a greater promise down there deep down inside of me that whenever I'm weak he is strong I got a promise that this body one day will be going down in corruption but it'll be raised in incorruption it'll go down in weakness but one of these days it'll be raised in power how did you do this was it my works of righteousness that you've done absolutely not but it was by the grace of God and that was it for the grace of God that bring us salvation it's appeared unto all men teaching us to do something and teaches us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust right here in this present world and we're looking for the glorious return of our Lord Jesus Christ I'm here to tell you today if God's calling you out of darkness into his marvelous light it's time to get up out of the cave and move it's time to be obedient there you see Paul and Silas was down in a jailhouse one time and they began uh, they had been whipped down to the very point of near death uh, but the Bible says that they begin to pray and sing uh, and them jail doors begin to swing open uh, uh, God had already prepared that jailer uh, uh, to be sitting there uh, and what if he had turned away from it uh, he would have been a witness against you the same as this preaching uh, uh, will be for you a witness against you uh, or a witness for you uh, uh, God has prepared you everything in your life God's prepared you to hear the gospel this very day and what you do with it 
the ball is in your court. But as the as that jailer was there, he heard something. Something was different that day. And the Bible says when those those doors began to swing open, he took his very sword out. You think about how much bloodshed had probably been on that sword. He was ready to take his own life. And Paul hollered out from the back saying, Do ye self no harm? For we're here, all here in the county yeah. for And he threw himself down, the jailer said. Yeah, he left him. Yeah. Went straight there and threw himself down. Sirs, <coughs> what shall I do to be saved? <laughs> well, let's wait 30 days. Where was you at last night? Let's figure that out. Let's figure out how much sin, how much bad. No, that's not what Paul said. He said, believe on the name of Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Yes. That's what he said. There is only one way. One way. I fear as us as a church that many times that whenever uh, that, that under certain certain different circumstances we'll pull out a different Jesus and we'll point it to it then. If you get to a man, the same one that's saving a man in the eleventh hour of his life, or the first time the gospel, it's the same God. Yes, it the is. same Jesus. Amen. And if we distort the gospel, we are in bad shape. Amen. We are to be a curse. There is only one way. And there is only one door. Yes. And that's through and by the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can work yourself to death. You can go today. You can, buy you, you can leave this church today. Buy you a Bible and think that you live morally right the rest of, the rest of your life. Yeah, a lot of people do that. The rest of your life thinking because yeah. of a decision that you made without God. Yeah. And you can die and go to hell yeah. just the same. Yeah. Because your works will burn. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you if Jesus Christ, if He puts that blood upon your heart yes, sir. and seals you there's not enough devils in hell. Amen. Not Amen. enough things. He's not lost a one. As many times that, I, that I've wanted to let go of his hand because I wasn't strong enough, he has yet to let go of mine. Amen. Because I am no longer and he never my keeper. Amen. That's right. Brother. That when my oil in my lamp gets low, there's a man who puts a little more oil in yes, that lamp and brightens that light. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, if God sir. loves you today, God loves you. It sure is, brother. And if God's calling you today, be obedient. Yeah. I love you. Amen. We love Very you, God. God. He come to your rescue, didn't yeah, he? He sure did. Good God. Good God. Now, I've got a mind. We've still got a little while. Brother Donnie, yeah, it's, I, it's my mind, brother. The Lord spoke to me and if you just come up here and talk, it'll be all right. But that's, that's what the Lord put on my heart. Right? Close this up. Call me. Yes. That's what the Lord put on my heart. I'm not trying to get out of here. Amen. Everybody pray for Brother Don. Storehouse never empty. <laughs> It's all been good this morning, hasn't it? No, it right. sure has, brother. Tell you what, we, we, we heard the truth. Oh, yes. And the yes. truth will do something for you, won't it? Well, it'll do, brother. Set you free. It'll yes. set you free, won't it? And I'm thankful for the, the, also the liberty we've had this morning. Yes. Oh, yes. And you, you can just feel it. You know, yes. I, I went places before, and you can just feel just yes. something that just like just put pressure on it. Just you know the truth. And that's when man gets involved. That's exactly right. But when, when the spirit has free reign, that's Everybody when it gets real good. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I think we've had that here this morning. Yeah, we have. I can feel it. You can feel it. And the Bible says it like this, Brother John. He says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There's liberty. There's liberty. Amen. And that's what, that's what Christ came to do, right? <laughs> right. He came to do what? Set to set the captives free. That's right. Amen. And I'm thankful for that this morning. Thankful. For the blood that was shed upon the cross of Calvary. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There's a song we used to hear sung, brother, was part of it. What shall wash away my sins? Nothing, yeah, there you go. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Father, it's not of our works as it's been preached this morning. Amen. It's not of any good deeds that we may do this morning. 
What shall wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There might be other ways, and the Bible even says that there is a, there is a way that sin is right in the land. Amen. Amen. As a child, I remember being in school, never got very many of them, Brother Keith. But every now and then, maybe I get a gold star. A gold star. Amen. But you know what? Everything is based on if you do good, you'll get a reward. Amen. But thank God, I'm thankful today that my salvation is not based upon any good thing that I do. My salvation, brother, is based upon the love and the grace and the mercy of God. Amen. He said it there a while ago. Listen, that all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. Brother Tommy, and you can turn it over, Brother John, about three more chapters. And it says, listen, there's a price to be paid for our sins. And it says, brother, that the wages of sin is dead. Amen. But it don't stop there. And it says, brother, the gift of God is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm thankful today, brother, that my salvation is not based upon anything that I've done or going to do or going to do in the future. But it's solely rest upon the soul of the shoulders of God. And through His marvelous grace. Amen. And I can stand before you this morning. And I can sing praises unto Him. The one that called me out of darkness. Into what? His marvelous light. Amen. Just like a brother. Paul and Silas, as a brother preached there a moment ago. Amen. Listen, they were in the old Roman jail. Listen, the glory they began to sing, pray, and sing praises unto God. Amen. And there was something to happen. Amen. I believe that when a brother, the men and women of God, when they come together, a brother with one thing on their mind, and that is not another, a brother God, and they're praising His utmost and high name. Amen. Just like it was there, a brother, in the day of Pentecost, I believe it was, they were gathered together in the upper room. Amen. And listen, they were one mind, and they were one accord. My brother, they weren't looking over this way or looking over that way. But they were looking up into the heavens. Amen. And they were seeking God. And they were seeking, listen, is a prominence on their lives. And they, just like it was, a brother, what happened when they come together? A brother, they, as a brother said a while ago, they wasn't looking at their clock. They looked and watching their watchers. Amen. They were looking over, trying to find fault in this one or in that one. But they come together, a brother, to worship him. And they was obedient unto the word of God. He told them, he said, you go and you wait for me in Jerusalem. Amen. I don't think they realized what they were waiting on. But he told him to go, and he told him to wait, and they did just exactly what he told, they told him to do. And brother, when we get obedient, we don't worry about anything else, brother, boy, and to worship him and to praise him. The next when, brother, the glory comes down. Amen. But Daryl, is it not Daryl? Well, Dwayne, amen. amen. Brother, the Bible says. It's better to obey than to sacrifice. Amen. But Amen. glory to God. It had been good this morning. It's your hand. But I appreciate the brethren. Brother Blake, brother, you blessed my heart, brother. Good to be with you. Amen. Brother Josh, wonderful. 
Every one of them. Brother Dwayne, amen. Yes. Brother, I, I can't remember yeah. names for that. Yeah. Brother Mike, amen. Yeah. We've been blessed here. It's been a wonderful day. We've been blessed. Uh, one of the brethren gets yeah. song. Yeah. Brother Keith, come, brother. Yeah, we'll Open up. the door to the church, yeah. amen. Yeah. Brother, I believe. Yeah. Come in. Brother God has moved here today. <laughs> brother, I, I can feel it, brother, from the time yeah. I walked in. I know yeah. where I'm at right now. Amen. And I believe uh, we can just uh, continue to praise Amen. Him uh, for the next few moments of time. Amen. Here. Brother, get a song. Amen. <laughs> Let's sing a song Amen. here this morning. Come on, Brother Amen. Blake. Brother Blake got a song. Amen. Amen. Brother, you're here this morning and you feel the Lord has saved your soul. Amen. Brother, I think you need to no tell.
Honey apples. We all have plants. And you know the scripture says that iron sharpened the iron. And we hear our preacher, brother, get blessed. It causes us to want to go home and study to show ourselves. And God expects that of us. We all need to grow in the knowledge and the wisdom of the Lord. And I'm not talking about just preachers here today. But I think Brother Donnie mentioned it, but I want to announce it also. The, the church doors are open this morning for the receiving of members through experience. Oh, you might say, what do you mean by experience? By being born again. Yeah. And if God has saved you, you need to get in church somewhere, Brother yes, John. You, you need to come and put your light up on the candlestick. And if you haven't been baptized, honey, we would be more than happy Amen. to go down here at the creek and baptize you for the fulfilling of all righteousness. Yeah. And you'll never be satisfied until you yeah, you're right. 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 God, Jesus set the example as his brother and priest. He set an example for each one of us. And it's all about Jesus. And he has, he has, his name has truly been lifted up here. Um, brethren, give out your points. New home on the first Saturday and Sunday of each month. Next month is our memorial meeting. Good place to go. On the fourth weekend of every month is Rock Fork over in Garrett, Kentucky. And we also meet on the second Sunday and every Wednesday night. And this come and meet time will be our communion and the week leading up to that will be our annual dedication. Each from Wednesday to Saturday night at 6.30 with food afterwards and the ministers called each night. Little Jewel gives us the Come see us over at Little Zion on the second before Sunday evening, and also over at Fort on the third. It'll be our communion this time. We'd love to have it. Amen. Remember us on the third, also up here at the Little Betsy Church, and also on the first Sunday. Yeah. Remember us at Reynolds Point. You know, I'll say this, it's, it's been a while since I've seen some of these brethren and heard them preach, but, but I, I want to say this, and I know they won't get puffed up, but I, I've seen growth in them. Yes. I have, I've seen growth in them. Yes. And that, you know, we, there ought to be a growth in God's yeah, word, whether we're right. a preacher or not. Yeah. I mean, there ought to be a yeah. growth, but I, I just want to say that. Uh, uh, and I'm glad, I'm glad to see that. But, uh, does anyone have anything they want to say here? Bethany Church. Yes, yes but first Saturday and Sunday each month. There's five Sunday this month. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Be right here at Little Jewel. We had a wonderful week on this. Sure did. Wonderful time. We want to thank each one for coming and uh, for the ones we haven't seen for a while. We're glad you was able to come. Glad to see ones that have been sick and not with us for a while. Thankful that they're here today. Hope you received the blessing, and I know you did. I could see yeah, it. Um, now, we've got a sister here that had a little birthday yesterday, I believe it was. We're going to tell on you, but we're not going to, we're not going to ask for your age or anything, but that doesn't matter anyway. We have an but, anniversary uh, today also. Oh, really? Who is it? Jeannie and Johnny's 50th. Well, now, I didn't know that. Well, I ain't Happy been here at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, right. Bless your hearts, Lou. Congratulations yes. on that. To both of us. But uh, good job. We good job. will uh, we'll go on ahead and dismiss and then we'll sing happy birthday to Sister Sylvia. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, it's once more that we come unto you, Lord. We we want to thank you, God, for this day that you've given us, Lord. It's been a wonderful day, Heavenly Father, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for each little family that's represented here today. Thank you, God, for each one. Thank you for these ministering brothers that have come this way, Heavenly Father. I, I believe they've been well paid for their, for their visit that they've come here and given us today. But Lord, thank you for your holy word that has went out here today, Heavenly Father God. And uh, I pray, Heavenly Father, that if there is anyone here, Lord, that doesn't know you for the pardon and remission of their sins, 
whether they be here or watching online. I pray, Lord, that they may have heard the gospel of their salvation today, Heavenly Father. And I pray, Lord, that they'll follow your voice and your spirit, Heavenly Father, and come to a place, Heavenly Father, in their lives, Heavenly Father, to where they'll repent and be born again and become a child of God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us. Yes, Heavenly Father, you've been so good to us. We've not deserved anything that you've given us, Lord, but it's only through your mercy and your grace, Heavenly Father, that we've received salvation. Thank you, Lord, for your precious Son that came down here and paid that sin debt that we couldn't pay, Heavenly Father. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless each little prayer request that was mentioned here today. Lord, there's so many that need your touch today. We ask that you'll go to them and bless and comfort them in the way that only you can. Comfort the ones, Lord, where death has entered into their families. Now, Heavenly Father, we ask that you'll bless each one here to tra travel back to their places of abode and let them get there safely. Heavenly Father, and find everything well. God, we ask that you'll bless all of our visiting members and all of our brothers and sisters wherever they may be as they travel home today. Yes, Give them a safe trip home also. Lord, help us to always keep our eyes upon you. Help us, Lord, to be able Let to talk to sinner men and women and tell them about your goodness, Heavenly Father. Yes, and Lord, I ask that you'll forgive us, Lord, because we're not perfect, Heavenly Father. Lord. God, forgive us for our sin and shortcomings, Heavenly Father. Help us to be more Christ-like in our walk with him, Heavenly Father. And Lord, all of these things I ask, Lord. Lord, I want to ask also that you'll dismiss us from this place, but not from thy love, care, and keeping. And all of these things I ask, Lord, I ask them in Jesus, most high name. And amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Happy birthday to you.